Savitri Nagraha. Well, today we will study Unit 1 Introduction to Electrical Drives. Introduction The system employed for motion control is called drives. The motion control is required in industrial as well as domestic appliances like transportation system, rolling mills, paper mills, machine tools, fans, etc. Driving system is basically has mechanical load, transmission system, prime mover. The prime mover may be IC engine steam engine, turbine or electrical motor. Electrical drive is nothing but the form of machine equipment designed to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy and the whole process is controlled by electricity. Now we will move on to block diagram of electric drive. Electric drive consists of power source, power modulator, electrical motor, load, control unit, sensing unit, input, command. Here the power source may be either AC or DC. Selection of motor depends on the type of supply. If AC motors are used then AC supply is used. If DC motors are used then DC supply is used. Power modulator basically classified into three categories. Converters, variable impedances, switching circuits. Converters, the power modulator acts as a converter for example AC to DC converter called as rectifier, AC to AC called recti uh, converter called as cyclo converters, DC to AC converter is inverter, DC to DC is a chopper. Variable impedances, the variable resistors are commonly used to control DC and AC drives. Variable resistors can be controlled, drive, manually and automatically with the help of contractors. Switching circuits, switching operations operated in power circuit are done by electromagnetic contractors. Electrical motor, motor commonly used in DC drives are DC shunt motors, DC series motors, DC permanent magnet motors, brushless DC motors. Motors commonly used in AC drives are induction motors, slippering induction motor and squirrel cage induction motor and also synchronous motors. Control unit. Nature of control unit for a particular drive depends on the type of power modulator used. When the semiconductor converters are used, the control unit will consist of components such as firing circuit, transistors, microprocessor, solid state, solid, solid state relays, ELC, etc. depending on the requirement. Loads. There are large number of loads and each load has its own specific requirements whether the load is resistive, inductive, capacitive or AC loads or DC loads. Sensing unit. Sensing unit senses certain drive parameters such as motor current, voltage, speed, sensing circuit and is also used as a protective device. Input command. Input command gives inputs to the control circuit and adjust the operating point of the drive. Next we will move on to advantages of electric drives. The operation is pollution free, efficiency is high, easy speed control, noise is less and low maintenance. They have short time overloading capacity. Electric drives are self starting, flexible in layout and running cost is low as compared to other systems. The system is more simple and clean as there are no fuel and fumes and easy to handle. It can be remote controlled. Next, disadvantage. Electric drive system is tied only up to an electrified area. Where the electrical area is there, there only we are using this electric drive system. Till that area we can use this system.